Let's have a quick look at. So this is the total database that I have, uh, which starts from 2009 till 2017. Now in here, if you look at, it starts with your arithmetic. So if I start with arithmetic, which uh, basically talks about percentages, SICI, then PNL, ratio and proportion, time speed distance, work, average, and so on and so forth. So if you look at it, over a period of time, the weightage has already increased. So in 2009, we have round about two questions, but as and when we move ahead, we have round about six questions now, right? So this is something we can understand that yes, as far as uh, the arithmetic segment is concerned, Snap has always been giving a good focus on it. Now, so we can understand that, okay, you know, Snap has been giving a good weightage to arithmetic as a segment because you're getting good number of questions from arithmetic every year. So round about, you can, you can think about round about having, uh, you know, 10 to 12 questions from arithmetic segment itself, which is going to be a short shot. Now, as and when we move ahead, um, if you look at arithmetic, now I'm not saying that every question in arithmetic would be easy one to solve, but um, if you look at 2017 analysis, I had gone through the papers, I had kind of you know, looked at the like, 16 and 15 also. Uh, my analysis say that though arithmetic has given a good number of weightage or good number of questions have been there, 30 to 40 percent questions are actually a little bit on a tougher side. Now when I say tougher side, they are not like CAT or IFT or ZAT they are basically like a little time consuming. So very, you have to crunch a number bit, you have to get the answers in the decimal or you know you have to kind of play with the decimal number. So that makes your calculation a little bit tedious. So it's not going to be so easy saying that you know uh, Edison percent of you know 1450, you know you just put the uh, reciprocal, you know do the calculation and get it. No, it's not like that. It's a little bit twixt, right? So that's all about your arithmetic. Now you can pause the video, you can have a look at a uh, number of questions that has been asked. Now the good thing is that if you look at for these three years, right, from these three years, the THD uh, was kind of asked for like three questions, then it was five, last year it was five, and then to, uh, in 2017, only two questions were, were there in the paper. So I think this year, in 2018, you can expect around about two to five questions from time speed distance. But yeah, as far as these questions are concerned, again, the same funda, 35 to 40% uh, questions are actually tough, they're a little bit calculation intensive. And the rest of the chunk of round about 60 to 65% is actually manageable. Just put the numbers in the formula and you'll be able to get the answer. Now, when we move to number system, number system, you cannot expect something on a very high level as such the way we expect for CAT and all. Number system is going to be very basic, you know, HCF, LCF. They might ask you something about the remainder and the divisibility and so on and so forth, right? But yeah, the questions are going to be literally on a manageable level. Logarithm from last three years, they've been asking log one question, formula based, not a big deal. Geometry carries a good weightage. Yes, geometry carries a good weightage. The total of this entire segment is 40 questions. So if I look at five, five excuse me, if I look at five, so that's around about 10% plus. Yeah, 10% plus, around about 11%. So it's a good weightage. And PNC and probability, no doubt they are all important. Like five questions you will expect. 2016, you had around about four questions. Uh, 2015 also you had around about four questions, then three questions. So they are actually increasing the level of rather number of questions in PNCN probability. So yes, PNCN probability is going to be important for you. Trick no, you can do it. Then it's okay if you, even if you cannot do it, that that's fine. One or two questions will not make a big difference out of 40 questions, guys. Now then, the important segment is your logic. Uh, this thing, uh, data interpretation. Sorry, the DI will play a really good. Uh, kind of uh, role as far as your snap conscious concept because these seven questions will be bifurcated into say um, you know four or three or something like that but again one di will be easy enough one di will be calculation intensive i'm not saying tough you guys need to kind of train your brain saying that it is not tough it is just a calculation intensive the moment you convince yourself the moment you make yourself realize that the quant section is going to be on uh, a bit of on an easy part and bit of on a calculation intensive Guys, you will not get blocked or you will not get freeze while writing your paper. Last year in 2017, I spoke to a lot of students and they said that paper was tough, it was very tough. No, paper was not tough actually, paper was calculative. And if you look at the cutoff, cutoff went down by round about 5 to 6 marks, which does not really, you know, create a big difference to be very honest, right? So the paper wasn't really tough, it was just a little bit twisted. The calculations were given because if you look at every exam nowadays is getting dynamic, right? So yes, so guys, Train yourself, convince yourself, kind of put these things in your head that exam is not going to be tough, it's going to be calculation intensive. So, you have to make a call while you write your paper that, okay, which question I'm going to take first and which question I'm going to take later on and which question I will not be touching at all because you have a bunch of 40 questions in quants, right? So, it's a good number and out of this good number, I think around about 25 to 26 questions are 
definitely attemptable, manageable, and you can score with them, right? So guys, have a look at this. What you can do is you can basically pause the video, take a pic of this, and refer this whenever you are preparing. You still have around about 10 days left for your uh, snap, around about 7 to 8 days, by the way. And this data can help you a lot. And if you have any question, you can get in touch with me, or you can put the comment on the video. Guys, thank you so much for your time. I wish you good luck for your snap. Thank you.